Yo, 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 what's up? You're tuned into Foreskin Radio, www.foreskinradio.com, bitches, the underground podcast show of Western Canada, motherfuckers. Dr. Look a lot of puss here, and I'm joined by the infamous, notorious, baddest motherfucker from the West Coast. Hey, Ogre. <laughs> <laughs> and you are famous for the band known as? Uh, Skinny Puppy, of course. Excellent. Yeah, and Ogre. Hopefully. Ogre, ogre, ogre. This man does not need any introduction. <laughs> so, yeah, you did a phenomenal show tonight, by Thank the way. You. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, actually, for, for you know, coming by. I was I was so scared. I'm like, man, they never play their hometown. Uh, Damn. It's Is a, there... Well, it's a routing thing, kind of, and there's, there's other reasons that I can't get into that are more uh, green-related. Okay. Uh, not environmentally green, but uh, I think there's a, a routing thing just with the border crossings and stuff like that. I've always wanted to come back to play Vancouver, so... I think actually it's nice to, to, to not have played for a long time and come back. So I think uh, it was it was kind of really a uh, coming around, uh, you know, coming full circle for me in a lot of ways, and coming back to a place that I had left from under different circumstances, and coming back in a different state of mind, and it's kind of uh, you know being around Vancouver in in, uh, in 2008 as opposed to 1991, which is a very different time and space for me. So um, I love this city, you know, a lot, and. Uh, I kind of miss it. I'm thinking uh, my, my girlfriend really wants to move up here, so uh-huh. so we'll see. You know, we're kind of both tired of LA, and you know, we're looking at somewhere up in, in the northwest a little bit. It's kind of the only place for me really is kind of the west side of the country. Definitely, I'm not really a big fan of the east. I like Toronto actually, but you know, I kind of miss Vancouver. It's weird. Yeah. You should get a condo in Falls Creek. It's a really nice area. Is it? Yeah, well, I like yeah. Falls Creek. I mean, I I I'd probably you know yeah. I mean, I really would have to look around and see. Everything's changed so much since I was here. It's like I was walking around, kind of like, do I know where I'm going? Like, there's mm-hmm. these different routes, the ways that I used to travel are gone now. There's overpasses in certain areas, and you know, different stores. But I still am very impressed by the amount of like small really tasty restaurants you know that are really kind of inexpensive food but really well prepared and uh, you know it's clean up here it's it's got a good social system you know it's uh, the US is so fucked right now it's Aww. kind of a, a, a nasty mess but you know I have a lot of friends down there too so it's hard to say but this has been a really you know, an awesome experience to come back here and, and kind of uh, return to form <laughs> <laughs> awesome how long were you away for? Uh, well I left in 1991 I left with pig face and uh, yeah, Woo! I wound up in a, wound up in a hospital and then kind of like worked my way back and ended up in, in Los Angeles from that point. So I've been back here to perform I think since about 1991. I think. Actually. Oh wow, that wow! Not even just to stop by and no, say well, no, 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 I did that. I stopped hmm. through. Um, I, I I did a residency at the Banff Center for the Arts. Oh wow! And so I stopped. Uh, I stopped by here before going to Alberta and doing that. So excellent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cool. So, uh, Sunny Psyop. Sunny Psyop. Um, that album, actually, when I first bought it, I was uh, going through. You know that there's a there's a used CD shop uh, before Grand on Granville, like before you hit the um, the, the Cinema Seven there. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm not and sure. I just, it's one that I don't know of. So, uh, is it a good CD shop? It's pretty good. I found the Smiths there, and I found like uh, Ministries uh, with Sympathy there. Oh cool. So you always find cool shit there, and I found Sunny Psyop there. So I picked it up. I'm like, ogre, fuck yeah! <laughs> and I was honestly, I was blown away because I heard your uh, the pro- album prior to that. Well, yeah. And uh, I, I am really sorry. I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? I am not gonna bullshit to you. No, it's good. I'm uh, I'm into industrial music, but I'm also into hip hop, rap, R and B. So I'm all over the place. I've listened to a lot of Skinny Puppy. And I heard your intro, man. That wasn't that wasn't an industrial intro. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I was going somewhere else, but still, it, you know, it came back around for that realm. So yeah, yeah I appreciate that. That know. was like the theme of Cracker, kind of. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we've like always incorporated, you know, those elements, a lot of those elements into a lot of our music. You know, whether it's Skinny Puppy or not, we've always, you know, incorporated elements of hip hop to a certain degree, and you know, those types of rhythms at times, and even reggae a little bit and stuff like that. We've always kind of incorporated. Not much soul, though. I hate to say. Mm. You know, I think there's some soul maybe in the. Uh, Distorted and uh, discordant, and somewhat hey, bad, bad, somewhat uh, you know, isolated voice. Mm-hmm. You know, the disembodied voice is a bit of soul now, but it's a totally, you know, more machine voice and machine soul in a lot of ways. So. I noticed that one thing. I uh, just uh, start. Sorry to detract from you. No, no, it's but good. one thing I love about hip hop that reminds that uh, parallels my appreciation for uh, industrial is. The immense, like you know, production put into it. You know, the detail. Like you listen to like Jermaine Dupri or like Puff Daddy. Like they're innovators, but like you know, like you're Nevek Ogre. Right? Like <laughs> you fucking, you fucking take it to another <laughs> level. Damn, like I you was, and Trent. I, holy oh, shit! I wish I made as much money as those other people. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All those big names you talk sure. of, and then Nevek Ogre. 
the guy that lives in the mountains. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I'm lucky. I feel very, very lucky to, to have been able to do this for 25 years. I don't know. It's kind of a, it's something that I stumbled into in a lot of ways. And, and I was around a lot of good people like Dave Ogilvy is our mm -hmm. producer. He's, he's the guy who came on the bus with us right there. Mm -hmm. I just saw him again tonight, which is, which is really nice. I haven't seen him in a long time. So I had a lot of like support from people who were, um, you know, instrumental in kind of making me who I am. So I, I couldn't be who I was without the people that I worked with along the way, you know. Cool. Just yeah. for Sorry, go on, go on, go ahead. No, 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 no,
We're going to watch it. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. So uh, what's the next project? Uh, Skinny Puppy is next. We're, we're working on, uh, on, the, on our third record for uh, SPV. Oh my god, yeah, because you guys just released one like last year. Yeah, it was last year. I think it was. Yeah, it probably was last year. The, yeah, I guess it was last year. Yeah, so we're working on the third record now uh, for SPV and we'll see where that goes.